So I found these cool little washers on McMaster car and I put them anywhere there was metal on metal contact and parts rubbing together and they're oil impregnated washers. So as they wear, it exposes the little pockets of oil and lubricates the moving parts. So the gas shock for me was one of the most difficult components of this build to find, at least in dimensions that were close to what Phil Vandelay designed on the print. I ended up finding one at McMaster car, but I had to do some modifications to the frame and the gas shock itself. I lost the footage on that, so but I will show you guys what I did. This is the strongest, smallest gas shock that I was able to find. And like I said, I got it from McMaster car and actually how it comes is with nothing on one end. I chucked the whole thing up in a collet and single point thread the, the end here. And it turned out pretty good. And also, it just doesn't come with any eyelet. So I also machined this part here to receive it.
So the grinder build is finally coming to an end. I wanna thank you guys for watching my videos and I wanna thank uh, Phil Vandelay for doing a fantastic job on this build. If you guys have any specific questions about the grinder or you're thinking about building it, I'd be more than happy to tell you where I got the hardware and the parts.